All right, I'm gonna let you guys in on a, a little secret. Uh, there is something that really cool happened in the, the top left corner of the screen during this episode, but it's kind of hard to notice, and you, you kind of have to pick up on all the clues that go on throughout the entire video. So, for, for, for every, to help everyone out, I, I fucking crop the video to only include the top left corner of the screen so that it'd be easier for y'all to see what I was talking about. And don't worry, you'll see at the end of the episode, I'll, I'll kind of clue you in and be like, hey... Isn't that pretty cool? That's a nifty little thing there. Alright, enjoy. I have made it to the planet white. It is very... You shit, it is very white out there. Can I... Ooh, let's wait for this all to calm down a bit. Oh, lordy. And welcome back to Gator Snapper playthrough of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, I was talking about how in Dishonored it had been like five weeks since I'd last recorded Dishonored because I'd taken like a little bit of a recording break due to uh, a, bus a very, very busy schedule and I was like, I need just time to fucking chill out and relax. Uh, and then with Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, it's been about like two months. It's been about two months since I fucking recorded this game because I was like, you know what, let's do a bulk recording to change my opinion on this game. And hell yeah, the bulk recording did help. It, ha it definitely helped with the whole recording of Star Wars, but now it's been such a long time and aha, I see the planet is actually not just a fucking big glowing white ball of snow. Oh, jeez. Well, it looks like it's finally kind of, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of calmed down now with the lag. God knows how it's recording, but I'm sure it's fine. All right, so uh, if I remember from last time, uh, we are now at the point where we're going to fix Cal's broken-ass lightsaber because the god dang idiot fucking he acted a fool, crushed his lightsaber in his, his hand, which I guess is impressive. That or, like, a lightsaber is actually really fucking fragile and, and he just, like, broke it because he was being, like, not careful enough. Maybe it's, like, a Jedi thing. Maybe they have to be, like, okay, uh... At part of being a Jedi is you have to have this really flimsy technology that breaks if you squeeze it too hard. All the Jedi are like, but what if we, what if we, what if we didn't do that? Oh, fuck you, Cal. Yeah, alright, I'm already back to it. Already back to fucking yelling at Cal for my mistakes. He's just so easy to, to blame everything on. Uh, come on, fucker. God damn it, Cal. Okay. Hold on. What, there's something, there's something not, uh, whoa, but, but, okay. That, that was me that time. All right, hold on. I'm sure I got this. Oh shit! I still don't have any fucking health items. You know what? I should also look into that. Should look and see if I can get uh, a fucking uh, uh, healing pot here. I forget what they call them. Stim packs. Yeah. And this is like force upgrade, right? Yeah, that's good. Oh, Uba Niba Naki. That's a that's a name, all right. <laughs> Goddamn Star Wars names are like they're like a joke every fucking time. I swear. Like, Uba Niganaki, yeah, my favorite fucking Star Wars hero. Meanwhile, I could just say, like, Obi-Wan, which is infinitely easier. Or Qui-Gon Jinn, which is like, I don't know, that's that's an okay name. It's starting to sound silly as well. Uh, Anakin is like, that's a normal-ish sounding name for Star Wars. It's just the character himself is such a weirdo. Then we got fucking Kia D. Mundi. It's like, that's another fucking strange one. That's the Jedi Temple? All I see is a fucking mountainside. Oh. Oh, yeah, they, like, all came here to fucking, yeah. Yeah, good job, Cal. Yeah, you f all the Jedi are fucking dead now. We know, Cal. Thanks for rubbing it back, back into our face. Thank you for reminding us. Oh, God. Thank you for bringing me to this planet of just pure lag. Uh, this would be a good fucking time to check and see where I could find another healing item. I can just try and keep an eye out for, like, areas I could explore that aren't this big fucking open map. Oh, God. That's f this is why I never find the fucking healing items. I get, I'll do it between episodes. Like, at the end of this episode, I'll just try my damnedest to remember that, hey, you need some more fucking healing, especially because, like, right after this goddamn hellhole planet, I have to go fight, like, a boss. Uh, you know what? I bet there'd be one up there. That looks like somewhere I'd climb down from after spending all my time trying to climb up to. Oh, boy. Where are we looking at? Can I, can I get, like, a... Can I get, like, a fucking Gears of War style hold LT to fucking see where you're talking about? Because I have no idea where over there is, Cal. Oh, jeez, that's a fucking drop to death. Can I, like, climb up this? Oh, can I climb through this? Ha ha ha. Cal, you're so tiny, your twink body lets you fucking fit into any tiny space like this. Alright. I like, uh, I don't know. There's parts about this stage I remember liking, but the vast majority of it, uh, I think is just, um... 
what is it fucking called? Like, pla it's uh, it's all like puzzle platforming. Since there's no like lightsaber and so you can't really fight anybody without that, it's like, yeah, okay, here we go. You're just gonna do a bunch of fucking like platform shenanigans. I think, it, I don't know. If the Force had been like more combat, uh, well, I guess the Force is still like combat useful, but I don't know. The f using the Force in combat isn't one of those things where it's like, I could choose to fight with only the Force. Because at one point, like, yeah, your juice has run out. And I think for the purposes of this game, that makes sense. Like, if you had unlimited Force juice in this game, you would you would definitely fucking do some shenanigans with it. I don't know, though, but think about how fun this game would be if that like that's how they designed it, where, like, uh, y you're meant to have, like, crazy fucking powerful Force uh, stuff and you could really get away with doing some crazy shit. That could be fun. I could see that being a fun low game. Like, uh, I don't know, Fallen Order, not Fallen Order. Uh, what's the other fucking game? Jedi Outcast had some moments like that where you could really have fun with the Force. And am I meant to go up? Or am I meant to go through? This seems like where I should be going. Hold on, Cal, let me look in here. I'll, I'll remember once I see it. Uh, no, this is just like a tiny room, right? Okay, let's uh, check this out. This might be one of those things where I have to go here first in order to uh, do other things. Here, let me grab this rope and let me put this in here and see what happens. If it opens like a door into another place. Oh no, yeah, I see I did need to do this for, what, what did we, what's, what's this interaction? Oh, here, scan, scan that you little fucker. What's this say? Does it say anything about what this room is about? The gathering room. Cool, I'm glad I have, I've learned this. Uh, I guess I could go in here now. Is this where I want to go? It used to be beautiful. Oh yeah, see, this is this is the direction of plot. I'm pretty sure. So let's go back out there and climb up that fucking hilltop because I really want to see if I can find some uh, healing gourds. <laughs> That's I mean, it's trying to be sacky, right? I might as well just fucking stick with calling them healing gourds. Yeah. Yeah, I think there might be something useful up there. It's... Oh, my God. So this is that thing, though, where I'm going to go up there. It's going to be like, hey, here's a fucking, like, new fucking skin for for BD-1 or your ship. It's like, that's not useful at all. That was definitely not worth the time I spent going up here. Every fucking time I record a session of this game, I'm always going to complain about that. I really need new things to complain about. I need new material, as it were. Because, like, yeah, no, I'm fucking yelling at this, uh, yeah, see, there, there it is. I, at least I can tell from here that it's definitely, like, just cosmetics. Oh, God, I just, I don't know. I've, I've said it a billion, million times, I, I really wish. Oh, good, and I found a hat. Indiana Jones hat, I bet. Fucking reference, and that was it. Yep. Uh-huh. I wonder if this was a reference, though. I, at least I got a skill point for that, I guess. Master Marty Cameron... Um, is that, that's a reference or something, I bet. Hold on, let's, oh fuck, no, I hit the wrong button. Okay, Marty Cameron, hold on. Who is this? Marty Bucky Cameron. Oh, it sounds so fuck. it's like there's something on the tip of my tongue, I think. Unless it's just like one of the fucking guys in the, uh, in the fucking development team, or, I don't know, someone that fucking backed the Kickstarter for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, because that's how this game was created, I'm sure. Marty Bucky Cameron. Marty Cameron. I don't know. It, it, I don't know. It could be somebody. I'm so bad at knowing these things off the off the top of my head. Hold on. No, there really isn't. Thank you for that fucking dialogue. Oh, yeah. Marty fucking Cameron. That's going to be fucking stuck in my head for the rest of, of the day now. I'm just going to wonder the entire time, what? Who? who is this Marty Cameron this game is trying to fucking tell me about? I don't know. One of these days I'll find out. It might even be someone that, like, worked... Like, someone important that worked on Star Wars in the past. Who knows? I don't know. It, I I mean, the hat to me looked like a fucking Indiana Jones hat. And I was like, is that was that, like, a pseudonym he had used at one point? But I, I don't think so. I'll, that'll be another thing I'll look up in between episodes. Who the fuck Marty Cameron is? Alright, let's see. Uh, oh, BD1, had you noticed something? Haha, <laughs> too bad for you, I don't give a shit. Alright, come on, let's go. Whee! Yeah, I th and back to the thing I was saying before, like, with crazy fucking force powers. Uh, oh, shit, that's not exactly what I had expected. But yeah, no, if, um, what do we got here? What are we scanning? It's just a big rock. Light enhancing crystals, okay. So I gotta bring the light down here, that's why. Okay, I remember this stuff now. That's what I was saying before, this whole thing's just about a bunch of fucking puzzle shenanigans. Oh, I didn't even fucking see this doorway through here. Oh boy. Where are we plugging, plugging this into? Okay, um, 
I need to pull that crystal in there. How do I... There's got to be somewhere to plug this into, right? Uh, huh. Yeah, he sure did. Master Yoda, what a fucking great guy. Where do I plug in this stupid fucking rock? Rock, rod, fuck, not even a rod, rope. Rope is what I'm looking for. You know what, I don't think I'm meant to plug that one into anything. I think this is the whole thing of I need to get that all set up first. But that other area that I'd come from, if I can get light to go through there down somehow, I can probably get some useful little item, I say, but that's probably hoping for too much for this game now that I think about it. Oh boy. Alright, well let's see, where does this thing, what, is, what how's this one work? Okay, so it's shining over there. And, yeah, no, there's, there's no real areas to plug any of these into, so that's that's fine. Okay. It re I think it is just entirely a thing of, like, yeah, just shine the light. Uh, can I? Okay, I can use this to swing across. And I could just pull it. So this is the one I have to plug into something just to get it into, like, proper position. Wait, is that where the other fucking light came from? Oh, shit. Well, then, shit, there's nothing good over there at all. Oh, no. I was wrong all, all along. Okay, what about this? What is this? I can push this? Yeah. What did, wait, what the fuck did that actually... What did that serve? Uh, hold on. Push it again. Push push it while I look here? No. Oh, wait, that's what I can plug the thing into, isn't it? Is it? Hold on. Bring back over here. Then bring this. Can I hook this in some... I can. Okay. Okay. So I probably... Oh, fuck it now. Let's just push this. I, it's been a while since I've done this puzzle, so I truly do not remember what the fuck's going on. Let's just try this. Swing back over here. We, we, we. Okay, good thing. I almost forgot he could grab onto ledges in this game. God dang. All right, plug that in. Uh, and where will this actually reflect to? I never even considered that. Uh, can, can you? There you go. Can, oh. Oh, there we go. Aha! I've melted the ice, right? Is that not... Did, did it melt? Okay, it, it's slowly melting. <laughs> okay, the realism. My god, it really it's really trying its damnedest to be realistic. Alright, well, let's go through here. I might... Wait, fuck, these physics are weird. Alright, hold on. Is this just... Yeah, that's just back in here. Wonderful. Okay, well, that's weird. I wonder what this is about. I can't, like, move this at all. It might be a weird way to reflect the fucking light. I don't know. It sounds so unnecessary at this point. Uh, let's go back over here. I don't know why I did any of what I have just done. Alright, climb up. And then let's just go over here. There we go. Okay, let's see. Maybe if I plug this back in over here, and then I plug this into here, that's all I have to do. Because, yeah, then I could just open the thing up there, and it'll probably shine light where I want it to go. I don't fucking know. I remember struggling a lot more with this puzzle the first time I had done it. I think it's just because I did not quite understand what it was I was supposed to be doing. I think I'd miss Cal being like, Master Yoda melted the fucking ice with with light. Maybe I assumed he had used the force, but then I missed a part where Cal's like, he didn't use uh, his force at all. He just d did a contrived fucking puzzle. I don't know why we actually had it set up like that. It's really fucking stupid. Oh, you know what? I know why I fucking undid that. That's so I can go back through there to shine that light. God damn it. Uh, can I, I have to unplug this too, just to fucking swing over there, don't I? Um, 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 unlock? There we go. Okay. I, th I swear to God, if I didn't have to do this though, it would be a waste of my fucking time. Here we are. Get up there. Bring this back over here. Yeah, bring this back over here. Plug this in, uh, presumably. I still don't know if this is the proper thing to do, but we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna hope. Hope for the fucking best that that's what we had to do. So now we gotta go back up through here, ignore that fucking light crystal that would seem to imply that maybe you do have to use it at some point, but I guess not. I guess that's fine. Then let's, uh, shit. Fuck. I wasn't supposed to do that at all. Hold on, but n I could fucking scoot that over there. Yeah, okay, good. Th thank God. No, no. See, pull shouldn't work like that. Pull, pull should have fucking... Did, I guess it's in pull range. I don't know. I'm just complaining. Okay, here. Grab this stupid fucking thing. There we go. Just like Master Yoda did. Wow. So fucking impressive, I guess. What if I get in the way? Will I melt? That'd be a good little fucking thing right there. Instant death for just touching the beam of light. Make all the players really frustrated. I wonder, like, if what would be the smallest change that could be done to this game to just make everyone fucking hate it? 
I like I don't think just an instant death beam like that would do it, but it would definitely piss people off. But what would be something that I'd make everyone just fucking hate hate it so much? It have ah, man, I hate I don't know. I hate to say, it, but it have to be one of those things where it's like it would have to be something that would target one of the things that like social justice warriors would really despise seeing. So, I don't know. That would definitely that would definitely I think be the way of like that's how they would try and make everyone uh really pissed off about it. God dang. I could save up points to get the lightsaber throw just to show how disappointing it is. Or airborne attack that allows him to push nearby enemies away. Eh. That's the stupid move. The leaping slash. Um I don't know. I don't really want more combat skills. I think I do fine with just the combat I have as is, I say, but I'm gonna fucking disagree with that in no time. I could get Howling Push. Howling Push might not be bad. Yeah, that's for, like, taking on whole groups of people. Yeah, let's do that. Forgot I had to hold that button. There we go. Yeah, so now I do more than just, like, a tiny little stagger. That's a useful ability. Yeah, that's good. Probably drains all my fucking force juice, but whatever. Sure, it's fine. Alright, let's fucking continue deeper into the spooky ice caves. I wonder if this has a reference to the fucking Wampa. Or just like a dead fucking uh, Jedi body, like a Jedi child body, like frozen upside down in the snow. It was like fucking traces of a Wampa. It's like, oh no, he's he fucking died. Alright, let's fucking go. Uh, maybe I'll get my fucking healing stim pack from in here. Maybe it's underwater. That'd be nice. I'd be down for that. Ooh, and look at all these thermal vents. I'm sure it doesn't fucking bother me at all to be right next to them. You know what? I don't know the actual, like, fucking... I don't know. I want to say, like, I don't know for certain if, like, getting that close to a boiling hot fucking lava vent would hurt. But I can probably assume it is the case. Maybe there's a weird scientific thing, too, where it's like, well, there's just so much water that, you know, even though water gets hot, it's, it's fine. I somehow doubt that, though. <laughs> somehow I feel like if I got right up into that thing's business, I would uh, I would start to boil alive like a little crawdad. Uh, do I want to... This is probably towards plot. I saw another fucking cave down over here. I just want to fucking find items. Oh, not items. There are no items. I just want to find the p potential missing healing item I have somewhere. Ah, uh, it's so hard to fucking tell which direction is the plot. Ah, uh, fuck me. I don't know. Let's just go up this one. Ah, but this one was like straight ahead. Maybe straight ahead is like the direction of plot. Man, I guess I can. Uh, yeah. So it's just so cold. That's how they. Do. Okay. Yeah. See, this is towards plot. I guess since I'm a little short on time, anyways, uh, I can go back over here because. I just really gotta find a fucking healing item. I don't even... I don't remember if there is a healing item on this planet. I think it might be one of those ones where it's like... it's There's too little going on here. So it's like, yeah, no, there's no healing item. I know there's still one on Dathomir in the Nightmare Temple. Oddly enough, the only one on Dathomir is the fucking Nightmare Temple one. I was surprised to see that. I thought they'd try to fit more in. Oh, great. A fucking Echo. Ooh, there's just so much lore in this game. Wow. Uba Nibunaki is back. Uh-huh. His voice is... Fa He's fucking Ukitake Jushiro from the Bleach dub. And they fucking said Ugg to him. That's how they said Ugg to me, too, for recognizing his voice from goddamn Bleach. But no, that's totally Ukitake Jushiro, captain of Squad 13 from the fucking English dub of Bleach. I fucking straight up recognize that voice. It's the exact same voice, so it's easy to notice. Dang. Man, it's a good voice. It, well, his and uh, Shunsui's voice are good in the English dub. They, they're definitely different from, like, the Japanese dub, but that's that goes without saying. But it's a good voice until they fucking say, like, the lieutenant of whatever squad Jushiro uh, Shunsui is, is a part of. Uh, the lieutenant's name is, like... I would say it's just like Nanao, but every time they fucking say that name in the, the dub, they go like Nanao, and it's like, okay, I get you're probably trying to do the accent, and maybe, maybe you're doing it right, but every fucking time I hear it, I, I, I lose a little bit more of my brain cells, but like I said, that's, I guess that's probably the proper way to say that, and why do we have a climbing wall there? I guess, okay, you know what, that's for the return path, never mind. I thought there'd be, like, a juicy secret I could find. Give me more secrets like that. Reward me for turning around. How dare you, game. I looked backwards. I won a prize for it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Everything, everything looks fine. 
Uh huh. Yeah, we're gonna fucking fall. Like, w like with all the fucking obvious lava heat there is, it's amazing. Some of this shit ain't just melting away. Maybe that's what the, all this fucking quake stuff is for. I don't know. Uh, here, let's go. Does this actually? Oh, it does. Oh shit. Oh, it's another fucking goddamn Crash Bandicoot level. All right, here we go. We fucking jump over here and then we return to the slide. You fucker. Hey, I managed to save it. God damn this game. All right, we, okay. Oh, the whole thing's falling down, huh? All right, all right. I mean, it's all just fucking aesthetic. Like, it's not gonna actually harm you. The call? Has that always been a thing? Have, have we been getting a call from inside the fucking house? Okay, all right, well, let's just rest up here. And I guess on that note, I can just end this episode. So yeah, it's been a Gator Samper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.